Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range. Now today we're going to feature Remington shotguns. 12 gauge shotguns from Remington. I've got four of them that I want to feature today. Now before I get into this, I have to say, every time I feature a Remington, somebody says something about the Freedom Group. Oh, the Freedom Group, they messed up Remington. They you know, the Freedom Group has been gone for over five years. Remington made a complete turnaround ever since then, and I'm excited to feature their product. I've been extremely happy with them, and I'm excited to do this review. Now, the first one here is the Remington 870 Express Tactical. 18 and a half inch barrel, a tube that holds five rounds of two and three quarter shells, one in the chamber, which is what I have, six rounds loaded up, a port of choke that can be removed and other chokes added. You can see it does have a barrel clamp there, excess rail, ghost ring rear sight, and a front dot front sight that can be removed, and a night sight or whatever else you want to add, fiber optic can be added. Here we have a nice, oh, about an inch wide recoil pad, cross bolt safety. Let me disengage that and take a few shots. And there we go, Remington Express Tactical. I've owned this one the longest of the four and it has always performed excellent for me and it really is one nice shotgun. Here we have the Remington 870 DM Magpul model. It's a detachable magazine, that's what the DM stands for. And it shares many of the same features as the Express Tactical that I just shown. It does have the front dot, same deal there, excess ghost ring sight, metal rail, a ported choke, but it has Magpul furniture, SGA stock, an M-Lock end, 18 and a half inch barrel, a six round magazine. I have Federal double out buckshot loaded up right now, but the bolt is different and the overall look is different and it's a magazine fed shotgun. But it's been great and I've always enjoyed it. It's worked well. I expect heavier recoil with this double out buckshot. Nine pellets with each shot. Many people use this as their home defense firearm choice or at least the, the load is. Let's go ahead and take some shots. All right. I didn't want to shoot those smaller targets with the double up buckshot because I like those targets and I think it had potential of destroying them. But I really am looking forward to the V3 Tactical. Here we have the Remington V3 Tactical and this is a gas operated semi-auto 12 gauge shotgun. I am very much impressed with it. I loved reviewing it. It does have an 18 and a half inch vent rib barrel holds seven rounds in the magazine tube get a load of that barrel clamp on there polymer stock oversized controls look at that oversized charging handle bolt release it does have a flared magwell for easy loading oversized cross bolt safety and it has the burst support gas system and that is what is most impressive it cycles everything it keeps recoil to a minimum it's extremely reliable and I, I love the verse support gas system that's a, a Remington patent product and it's a, it's incredibly soft shooting and that is what I really enjoyed it does have a drilled and tapped uh, receiver here but let's go ahead and take a few shots it's an extremely fast shooting shotgun I'm not going to shoot it extremely fast but it is if you saw my range review you'd know what I'm talking about now the first four loads are just regular seven and a half target loads. The last three are double aught buckshot. So maybe you will see a difference in the recoil, but it's, it's the smoothest 12 gauge shotgun that I've ever operated. Here we go. Double aught buck. I remember with my range review, I shot turkey loads which are some of the heaviest recoiling 12 gauge loads that you're going to find and it was not bad at all 
I'm not going to say it didn't hit you back, just the nature of turkey loads do that, but this verse support system really is something. Now this one flat out excites me, a Remington V3 TAC-13. This is actually classified as a firearm, it's not a shotgun, but I added it into this series because I, I love featuring it. It's got a 13 inch vent rib barrel, look at that, same barrel clamp on there, holds five of the magazine tube, one in the chamber, drilled and tapped very much like the V3 Tactical, has a bird's head grip here, front strap, extremely reliable it also has the verse support system so it's a little softer shooting but you have a much smaller firearm and I made a video once saying this is potentially the best home defense firearm out there it all depends on what you want in a home defense firearm but I think it's amazing I've got six rounds loaded up and I also have the first three loaded up uh, birdshot the second three loaded up are federal hybrid Five shot. It's also a bird load, but it's heavy recoiling. But that burst support system does the trick very well. Let's go ahead and shoot these six rounds. You can tell a difference with that five shot. It jumps around a little bit. That's why this strap is so important. I, I pull back, pull forward. You know, you can shoot it like this, you can shoot it from the hip, and it's a extremely reliable firearm. It has been since I've owned it, and I, I love it. So there are my four Remington 12 gauge firearms. They have so many other models, those into hunting, they have a wide variety of that and everything else, you name it, they have it. Let's stop saying the Freedom Group, they're gone. They're doing a great job, and I love the four models that I just featured. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.